clearly digital is uh, changing the world. Uh, regarding manufacturing, which is the sector on which we are evolving with uh, uh, European Factories of the Future Research Associations, there are some specific needs and challenges which are a little bit different. Uh, for sure, we have expected that techno digital technology will drastically change. Uh, I mean about 3D printing, which will be a completely new paradigm of producing parts, uh, cobots, co collaborative robots, which will change the interaction between humans and machines, uh, and in general, uh, photonics, uh, lasers, sensors, will drastically be involved in manufacturing. But this type of uh, things will evolve by their own. Uh, while uh, today we have some specific challenges which are more on the software side. Uh, artificial, artificial intelligence is expected to play a big role in the future and there are for sure issues of standards and uh, communication and interface among the different software tools. We, this will be really the change for manufacturing because we don't have to forget that uh, the black backbone of European manufacturing are SMEs and SMEs are uh, uh, critical in these uh, uh, digital transformations. They are facing challenges which are heavier than the big companies. And so we have to focus on the, those specific needs of SMEs. Uh, SMEs, uh, they don't have the financial strengths normally of, uh, uh, of large enterprises. In Europe, we have SMEs with an average value, which is uh, uh, an, an dimension which is smaller than the rest of the world, the US and, and China, and then we have to focus on those particular challenges. So where we need standards? We don't need standards of technologies. Probably technology will evolve by its own, uh, and, uh, and we don't need to, to, to focus too much about it. But uh, in the communication among different software tools, there is the strong need. Uh, probably there the market will not self-regulate uh, itself. In Europe, we need uh, more, uh, or, or let's say, less ego egoism. This is the problem that we face uh, politically today for the problem of the refugees, for example. And then the stronger Europe has to come out, uh, uh, taking out all the egoism around us. And also for manufacturing, this is true. We need to work to avoid the digital divide that is inherent from small and large enterprises, from uh, certain countries to other countries in Europe. And this is where we have to focus. Standards can really help on that. Because imagine as small SMEs who really want to digitize this manufacturing process, they have to face a big financial effort uh, that we, not only for the initial investment, but also for the future maintenance of it. And the risk is that having different tools, not able to communicate them, will ask to those SMEs a lot of efforts in keeping alive their uh, digital systems. And we have to give them standards to grant their investment for the future. So this is probably what is something we have to focus in Europe in order to uh, avoid SMEs will become uh, uh, smaller and uh, uh, weaker, while uh, probably lar large companies with bigger financial uh, power will be became stronger. So digital divide and economical divide is something we have to face through the standards to allow a more democratic growth.